Good morning. I hope the sound today is better. Last few days, I thought I was using this microphone, but uh, it was just using Mac microphone. I, I hope today's uh, voice carries on with higher quality. As I continue with Psalm 17, today it will be verse 6 through 9, but let me pray and read the entire thing. Father, uh, come and speak to us today as we continue with Psalm 17, Lord. Speak to us in Jesus' name. This is word of the Lord, confident prayer by King David. Man, I wish I could pray like this. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer, which is not from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from your presence. Let your eyes look upon the things that are upright. You have tested my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and have found nothing. I have purposed that my mouth shall not transgress concerning the works of men by the word of your lips. I have kept away from the path of destroyer. Behold, my steps in your paths that my footstep may not slip. Verse 6, today's text. I have called upon you for you will hear me, O God. Incline, incline your ears to me and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand, O you, o you who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppress me from my deadly enemies who surround me. Mm. What a wonderful, wonderful prayer with so much confidence. <laughs> so much confidence. He says that, well, God's going to answer my prayer. I mean, just verse 6 in one verse. I have called upon you, for you will hear me. O God, incline your ear to me and hear my words. In this short verse, Pastor Pong says, well, this is the lessons about prayer. And he says, well, answer prayer, respond to prayer is Guarantee, right? John 15, 16, what does he say? Whatever you ask in your father's name, you will receive. It's like a certified check, you know. Uh, regular check is what? Well, you have to verify. What is a certified check? Certified check is given by the bank and bank will freeze that amount you know, and, and issue the check so that it guarantees it will go through. Prayer is like that. Uh, prayer is like certified check, according to Pastor Bang. Because of that, well, in Korea, they did not really have a personal check. They only have certified check, you know, like $1,000 uh, certified check. Wow, pengman one, million one is about $1,000. I mean, the in the Korean drama, they always, you know, the rich people, they don't want their son to marry so-and-so. And, you know, the conglomerate son and the poor girl and the mother, the evil mother always give them envelope full of not cash, but certified check. They open a million one check and they got hundred of them, $100,000 like that. So <laughs> he's using that term. Prayer it's certified check that it guarantees whatever you pray, God would answer. Number two, that you cry out, right? Whatever you cry out to God for, you will hear me. You call upon me, right? And when I cry out to you, call upon you, you will hear my speech, and you are going to, and it, you know, sort of like command, but it's not. It's actually is pleading. Verse six looks like, is he commanding? No, sounds like it, but actually it's a uh, very strong plea to the Lord. Uh, David would not dare command God, you know, especially, but no, it's pleading. And what's really uh, wonderful is that the word marvelous. Calvin writes this, make marvelous thy mercies as the word 
in Hebrew signify something to make wonderful or remarkable and something to separate and set apart. Both these senses will be very suitable to the passage. In Psalm 31, 19, the goodness of God is said to be laid upon in store as a peculiar treasure for them that fear him, that he may bring it forth at the proper season, even when they are brought to an extremity when all things seem to be desperate. If then the translation separate and set apart for mercy is preferred. Wow. There's so much difference between Calvin and Pastor Bong. Pastor Bong just comes from the pastor's perspective. Can you pray? And, and, and Calvin just like break it down, analyze the word. And the more I, as I got older, I, I tend to go toward more of a Pastor Pong approach. Like, what's the point of analyzing all these words, you know, just and and theologizing? I mean, Calvin always theologized uh, the word of the Lord. And, and I just want to be not. I don't want it to be theologized. I want to be testimonized. <laughs> Is there a word? I want to turn it into my testimony because I practiced it, did it, done that. Wow, it worked. Well, it did not work one way or the other. Give a testimony unto the Lord. Let the word of God be used to be a testimony. The word marvelous is, is sort of like it's miraculous. Wow. It is a miraculous thing, you know, and Pastor Bang also here writes, what is most miraculous, most marvelous is that, that God really forgave sinner like me, right? It is marvelous, I have called you. Your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. You save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them. You know, the fact that salvation came to me the fact that God, the creator, died on the cross for a guy like me, a sinner. That's the marvelous truth. That's marvelous mercy, right? It's miraculous mercy. And then he writes, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked that oppress me from the deadly enemies who surround me. Wow. Have you met, have you seen these little chicks coming out of, uh, moms under the wing, they stick their head out, yellow head. Oh, they're so cute. You know why they are so cute? Because they are under complete shalom, peace. And they are, they are so secure. See, that's the very warmth that they felt as an egg. You know, as an egg, I, I don't know how many days it takes. 23 days, whatever. And they just, and that same warmth. They could go under and feel, you know, mama's warmth. You know, it's just like a little baby. When they cry, put them, mothers just put them against their chest, against the breast, because the baby then lean and hears mom's heartbeat. Something that's so familiar that baby has heard for 10 months. And so it gives them shalom, gives them peace, and they, they fall asleep. You know, it's like that. Wow, God, our God keeps us in such a safe place, we feel so secure, so happy. We could sense the heartbeat of God. Doom. 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 I, I, you know, that you feel, yes, this is where I belong. This is where I need to be. Right? Hallelujah. So pray that your days be protected from all the evil ones. Let me read those sections today. I have called upon you, for you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to me and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. You who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppressed, from the deadly enemies who surround me. In Jesus' name, let it be so, Jesus. Keep us from evil, evil forces, and evil ones, and evil. the fiery darts that throw all around. Father, we pray against them. Put a shield around us, Lord. 
Let us live victorious life today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow.